G'day trendsetters, welcome to the first ride for 2024. Out of Gawler, South Australia, which is on the edge of the Barossa Valley. It's a nice little town just north of my home city of Adelaide. LGC is joining me today. We've got a route of about 120 k's, taking in about six lovely little Barossa Valley towns. It should be pretty quiet today, be New Year's Day. Not a whole lot of traffic. Of course, now I said there's a few cars on this road here, which we'll be on briefly, but on some pretty spectacular roads, let's get cracking. Beautiful blue tongue lizard. He's caught in a blue tongue lizard across the road here. He has to get over the curb next, which is a challenge. And there we go, blue tongue lizard off to safety. Welcome to the first dirt road for today. In fact, it's the first dirt road, gravel road of 2024, trendsetters. This is definitely what we would call a four-wheel drive track in Australia. Pretty dodgy to ride after rain. Dry weather road only, which is pretty solid advice. There's a lot of clay-based soil around here, LGC. Sticky as on a blanket. In the outskirts, of the town of Roseworthy. There's the former Roseworthy railway station. They've been talking about getting the line going again because that direction is Gawler. All right, trendsetters, I'm always showing off the United States Postal Service offices. Here is Australia Post in Roseworthy, South Australia. I love these old memorial halls. So that hall is in memoriam of World War I. From 1914 to 1918 and likely the soldiers etc got some wheat silos here which were once upon a time served by the railway likely by truck transport nowadays and just ahead of me is the south australian country fire service here in roseworthy rolling away from roseworthy and here's part of the railway line that's headed further north it's a real shame they discontinued these country rail services i don't know what the hell the bloody government was thinking Meanwhile, in Victoria, New South Wales, they're a bit more progressive with rail transport. Rot roll, woke up some sheep. Definitely in farm country, north of Gawler, north of Adelaide. I'm sure some of my Americana audience might draw some parallels or comparisons to certain parts of the United States. Thankfully, we've got some pretty mild temperatures today. The high is about 30 Celsius, so low to mid 80s Fahrenheit. There goes a big roo hopping off in the distance. He was having a sleep under this bush, woke him up. Here's the robo line once again. The next town that it once headed to is Freeling. We are headed there momentarily. We're riding directly parallel to the old railway line, just beyond this fence line. Welcome to Freeling, established in 1860, home of agriculture, and we are in the Light Regional Council District. Only in my Aussie homeland will you find signs such as this. Rolling into the CBD, so to speak, of Freeling, 
Not a lot happening here today, obviously. It's a pretty quiet town much of the time. But we'll scope out a couple of spots I know about. Hello, food lands open today. I wasn't expecting much to be open today, to be honest with you. Due to this being a public holiday, Foodlands are a local grocery store chain. There is the Light Regional Council local library. Down the road a bit, police station. Here is the post office for Freeling. Postcode 5372. Postcode versus zip code, like we have in the United States. Local landmark on the right, the Freeling Hotel. Then across the road, virtually, you have the Gungalan Hotel. They probably have an excellent counter lunch going on today, and of course, a bunch of lovely beers. Directly in camera shot is the war memorial to those who served from this town of Freeling. So it was rigged originally commemorate World War One, but all the wars and all the soldiers from this town are mentioned who likely passed away unfortunately. This is known as Anzac Park but we are right in front of the former railway station for Freeling. Believe it or not these tracks are still actually the property of Genesee and Wyoming, which is an American company who purchased all the railway rights some time ago, I believe in the 90s or 2000s. So in other words, the government sold everything off, privatized the whole lot. Bloody pelican heads. Anyway, at that point inside, this is an old good shed. There's an old crane. So once upon a time, but they had passenger services through here and of course freight. A lot of the freight would have been wheat and that sort of thing. Farewell to Freeling, onward to the next town. An old drainage tunnel of sorts or a creek runs it that way. The old railway line ran across the top. We're running parallel to the old track. We might actually get a butcher's, aka a look from the top of the tracks. Tracks eye view. It goes on for into the distance. I need to put a serious amount of work into this railway line to ever get it running again. There's LGC Steed, the Ribble Gravel SL. We reviewed that a while ago, along with the Rival E-Tap Axis Grip Set. And she's got a pair of the Logos components. If post wheels under long-term review. Here's the LGC. And here's my bike. The Time ADHX45. Review coming later. And of course fitted with those fantastic bird sparrow gravel wheels. There's a big ass rabbit hauling ass ahead of us. This is one of my favorite spots in this neck of the woods. Ahead in the distance is the town of Kapunda. We'll likely stop there for a quick refreshment hydration break. Good afternoon. Right, 
rolling into Kapunda. Time for some drinks here at Foodland. Let's go inside for again to LGC's mining device. You can't get booze today if so desired. I can murder a Cooper's Pale Ale right about now. The police station here in Kapunda. This is the main drag through Kapunda and as you can see it's pretty quiet today. Being New Year's Day. Not much is happening. There's the post office for Kapunda. Postcode 5373. North Kapunda Hotel. Soldiers Memorial Hall and this beautiful church building, which is now a local museum. You don't see kangaroo signs anywhere but Australia. Next left onto dirt and gravel. Note this sign, please reduce speed to reduce dust. And 40 k's only. That's an hour. That's 25 mile an hour in case you're wondering, direct conversion. A bunch of sheep having a sleep. Oi. This section of road we're traversing at the moment, and likely some others, are on the well-known Kidman Trail. Behold, we have olive trees in camera view and just beyond that, a vineyard which the Barossa Valley is quite well known for. And behold, a vineyard rolls into view. There are many, many, many wineries here in South Australia. How the landscape has changed vineyards as far as the eye can see. FYI, if you see a sign that says Ford, as in Ford Motor Company, it means a potential water crossing like would happen here if there'd been a ton of rain. Welcome trendsetters. I believe we're on the outskirts of Tananda, if my memory serves me correctly. Some beautiful houses here with a fantastic view. Waking up every day and seeing this. Lovely. Hey, trendsetters, I got that wrong. We're actually in Greenock. Oops. Tananda is after Greenock. I should have known that. What a bloody wally. There's the Greenock Post Office. Greenock was founded in 1945, so somewhat recently. Anyway, the next town after this, I believe, is Tananda. Oh no, Greenock Brewers, that's a bad sign. That means they've got beer here.
LGC, time for a brewski here at the uh, Greenock Brewers. Brewski time. There you go, trendsetters. Brewski time here at the Greenock Brewery. The proprietors went outside, poured me a coldie. Bloody beautiful, mate. Well, that was amazing. It's time to get the ride going again. So be sure to stop at the Greenock Brewers if you're here in Greenock. That was bloody awesome. Nothing like a mid ride beer. There you go, trendsetters. That is a road train carrying a crap ton of who knows what. But three trailers. You don't see that too often in the United States. Right turn to Nuriupta, or Nuri as we say in the local lingo. Santos to Dananda coming here. Welcome trendsetters, officially here in the beautiful Barossa Valley of South Australia. On the outskirts here in Nuri, trendsetters rolling in towards the main drag. Time for a big ass coke. Just what the doctor ordered, a big ass coke. That's right, LGC. Pretty quiet here today in Uriupta. It's being a public holiday, not a lot of businesses are open. Right, yeah, rolling out of Newry. On to the next town, where it should be Tananda. I have more than likely royally fudged up the bloody order of towns today. I made this route a few years ago. Of course, I've forgotten the order of towns. Oi! They're all flying off somewhere. Mass exodus. of ant activity bit of a dodgy brother section of course here but no work and furries weather is absolutely bloody perfect right now a lot of cloud cover temperature has dropped significantly it's probably oh, like 21 degrees Celsius very low 70s uh, Fahrenheit Directly in camera shot, vineyards for Peter Lehman Winery. One of the really fabulous wineries in this area. Well, trendsetters, we've finally rolled into Tananda. Well, at least the outskirts. Welcome to Tananda, LGC. Rightio, here's the official archway, which I believe is the welcome wagon to Tananda. Thanks to Penfolds, established in 1844. Fantastic wines, I have to say. So we'll do a quick spin through town, which, you know, a lot's closed up today. And then we'll get back on our course. And this is a favorite town that the Tour de Nanda likes to visit. And there's the post office for Tananda. See, we're giving these train post offices some love in this video, all right? Now, unfortunately, no water towers for uh, the American audience to perv on, but that's okay. The Tanunda Hotel. I've been there a long time ago. Bloody awesome place to have a brewski or three. All right, we're gonna get back on course. 
That's the most of the main drag here in Tinunda Covered. Onward. Quick perv on the Barossa Ford dealership here. They've got a Raptor in the showroom. I'm a bit of a car guy in case people were wondering about this video here. Okay, trendsetters, we're rolling out of Tanunda. Farewell, Tanunda, till next time. We haven't quite left Tanunda, rolling through some of the older parts of town, some beautiful historic homes in these back streets. Crossing the North Para River, which is not flooding at the time. More like the North Para Creek today. Can any of the locals explain to me why this barbed wire fence? which I've ridden past many times, has a ton of shoes tied up in it on the edge of town here in Tanunda. Plenty of cockatoos and galahs out today. Pretty lovely view. There's a good chance we're going to wake these sheep up. Uh oh, we've been spotted. Oh, they're doing a runner, as predicted. We mean you no harm, I promise. Welcome to Chateau Yudara, one of the best known wineries in the region. Here we go, Chateau Yudara, founded in 1847. Beyond the archway, the vineyards for Chateau Yudara. Wager we saved the best for last in this ride today. Started off a bit bland with the farmland, but obviously the vineyards later. Spectacular! Another town that's being visited by the Tour Down Under during stage one. There you go. Welcome, trendsetters, to Lindock here in the Barossa Valley, South Australia. Sunrise Bakery and Cafe, very, very good bakery here in Lindock. And it's late in the day here, it's almost six o'clock. We've been lollygagging, as they say in the American lingo. There's Australia Post here in Lindock, and there is the Lindock Hotel, and here the Lindock Institute. Rightio, see that Cooper's Pale Ale sign there in front of the Lindock Hotel? That is the nectar of the gods. I'm afraid, trendsetters, that is the number one beer, in my opinion, on the planet. You are, of course, entitled to your own opinion, but mine is correct. <laughs> Here's the old railway line. Unfortunately, she's dead. I mentioned it earlier, bloody government canned all the country service railway lines in the 80s. Farewell to Lindock. We'll see you next time. That view is off the chart, LGC.
don't forget gravel roads the surface conditions change often drive carefully or ride carefully an hour okay uh oh we got one serious climb left of course it comes in the final 10k is the cheeky bugger like this corrugation here uh, or washboard if you prefer in the united states we have another gravel cyclist going the other direction here all right mate Town of Gawler has appeared in the distance. We're getting close to the end now, trendsetters of today's New Year's Day ride here in South Australia, my home state. All right, trendsetters, we are rolling into the outskirts of Gawler. There's your the railway line. Forgive me for mentioning that 10,000 times. Bit of a train nut. That wraps up the gravelly roads for today, trendsetters. Now rolling into Gawler. The old Gawler, she's pretty quiet today, being New Year's Day. Looks like Faster Pass is open for business. Welcome to the very quiet CBD here in Gawler. Lovely little town is Gawler. Alrighty, trendsetters, that wraps up the first day of the year ride, New Year's Day ride, here in South Australia with LGC 2024. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for interesting ride experience videos such as this one. No bull**t! Gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, and of course, general madness. I mean, look at that bloody van there. That's my incognito van for getting around the countryside, LGC. All right. Uh, yes, we'll see you, LGC and those birds probably in the next video.